Okay, this video is going to be about how to add items from the price list into your estimate. So let's go ahead and click on an estimate and open one up. Let's go ahead and click on a room. There's bedroom one. And let's come over here to the tasks section. And there's two drop-down arrows here, one next to section, one next to code. You can click on either one. It really doesn't make a difference. Both of them open the price list. And so right here in the price list, there's probably, gosh, I don't know, a little over 50, maybe 51 different what we call sections or categories. Uh, in iScope, they're referred to as sections. And so pretty much all of the line items, the, there's I think a little over 10,000, are divided into these 50 sections. And inside each section are multiple subsections. So what you want to do is you want to come into something like, say, I don't know, flooring. And you could come into tile flooring. And you could see that there's uh, marble, there's quarry, there's saltillo, slate. Um, and, then, and then there's even subsections to that. Here's regrouting, uh, replacing. And so the first thing you'd want to do, let's, let's go ahead and add a, uh, a tile floor. Here's a standard tile floor, remove and replace. Now what you could do is you could click on it and then just press OK. And it's going to drop it into the estimate. Uh, the problem with that is if you have anything else to add while you're here, um, then you're going to have to actually come back into the price list to add that. And you have to navigate back over here. And so that may not be something that you want to do. You want to, may want to, uh, while you, as long as you're in the price list, you want to find as many things as you can uh, to save yourself some time. And then at that point, you'd want to add those items to cart. But let's go ahead just for grins and uh, let's click on this tile floor and press OK. And you can see how it drops it right into the estimate. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and press delete. I'm going to hit my delete key, and I'm going to go back into the price list. We're going to go back into flooring, and tile, and standard, and remove and replace. So I'm going to go ahead and click it again, but instead of pressing OK, this time I'm just going to press Add to Cart. Because the thing is, what if, what if I didn't want to leave here? You know, what if I wanted to find some other items without having to navigate all the way back in here? For example, I may have wanted to add a tile base. So let's go ahead and click over here on base and go to tile. And I'm going to add tile base trim. And I'm going to add that to cart too. Because if I press OK at this point, it's going to add this item and the, other, the, the one other item that's in the cart. And that's it. But I'm not done yet. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to click Add to Cart. And now it says two items are in my cart. So now I want to come over here to Drywall. And I may want to add a patch in there. I'm going to click on the patch, Add to Cart. Then I'm going to come over to Texture. And I'm going to go to Scrape Texture. Here's Scrape Wall Texture. I'm going to add that to Cart. And Scrape Ceiling Texture. And I'm going to add that to Cart. Then I'm going to come over here to Machine Texture, and I'm going to click on that, Add It to Cart. Then let's say I want to add in some preparation. Here I'm going to go ahead and Mask Per Linear Foot, click on it, and Add It to Cart. And then I'm going to press this OK button. It's going to drop all seven items into cart. Okay, now there may be some reordering that may need to go on here to make everything right. Uh, and the way you do that is you just click on an item and you just move it a little bit. And uh, we're going to talk about that in another video. Uh, also, there's a lot of other things that I want to talk to you about. Um, there's ways of, uh, of limiting this list. This is the sections button, and I'm going to talk about it in another video. So you can assign certain categories to certain uh, sections here, and that way if you're not wanting to have to search through all 50 of them to find what you're looking for, uh, you can do that. You can also use this, these search boxes. Now, those are all separate videos, though, and so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, end this video here in a second, and then you can, you can look at all these other videos and, and see how that works.